So we just went to town and got some street food and we got chicken and vegetables on corn tortilla so it's gluten free. And now we're going to just like watch a movie on Netflix. Okay, so we just ate all of those tacos. I'm legit in a serious food coma right now. That was a lot of tacos. So we each ate six. I used to eat 12 tacos. That was and so much food. I never sitting. eat that much food, I don't feel like. Because, I mean, what I didn't share with you is that we had already eaten supper. <laughs> But it wasn't that much. So that's it really we... wasn't that much. It was a one sausage and then like a side salad and a little bit of potato. The reason we went and got tacos tonight is because tonight is our last Saturday here because Alan is flying home with my dad Sunday morning early. No wait, today's Friday. Tomorrow's Saturday and then they're leaving Sunday morning. And spoiler alert, my mother and I are going home too. We thought we were going to stay for <laughs> eight weeks but we've actually decided to go home after six. So we're gonna leave with the boys on Sunday. And I'm excited, I'm not gonna lie. Like we've had a great trip in Honduras. We've learned a lot of Spanish. Like we've we've come and done what we said we were gonna do, but it's just time to go home. Like we're tired of living in a hotel and just like having to make it work every single day. Like we're really ready for some reprieve and to just be back at home in our own house. So we are headed back Sunday morning. And tomorrow we're having like a really big cookout. It's like a 4th of July celebration because the 4th was this week. If you know what I'm saying. Hey, yeah. So that is, that is my reveal of the day that we're going home the morning after tomorrow morning. So I'm excited. And even though I have a taco belly right now, I know the second I get home, I'm going to have like five weeks till I have to leave to go back to my university. So... I have five weeks to join the local gym, which is the pack. So I'm gonna join that and work off everything I've eaten in the past like five weeks because I've eaten as healthy as I can, but it, it just had like healthy food just hasn't been as accessible here. And if it is accessible, it's like outrageously priced, like $70 for coconut oil or something like that. So I've I've done well. I've done the best that I can do, but it's time to get back home to my superfoods and I'm super excited because guys I haven't had spinach in like seven weeks, literally. All the salads here is just like white iceberg lettuce with a tomato and I don't even like tomatoes. Honduras I won't see you next time. Got him. But so that's kinda where we're at. I'm gonna let this food digest because <laughs> I've got a food baby. And that's kind of all I have to say right now. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so today's Saturday morning and I just went and got us some coffee from our neighbor's house. We're going to chill and then we're gonna pack up and then we have that big cookout tonight and then we are rolling out in the morning. So right now I'm about to pack up all of my stuff so that tomorrow, like I just have like one thing to get out of my suitcase and I'll be like ready to roll because we're leaving super, super early in the morning. <laughs> We have all of our stuff put away and we are actually about to go eat lunch. When I get home, I'm going to do like an intermittent fasting slash like detox video to get all of this Honduran food out of my body because like everything here just has added sugar, preservatives. <sighs> but for now, we're going to go to eat at Via Via, which is like my favorite restaurant here. Probably gonna get the same thing I always get. I might change it up. Who knows, we'll see. Okay, so as usual, I got my salad with added avocado and chicken and then I added more boiled egg but I took off the cheese and the bread. Okay, so I came with my hair wet because Angela's going to braid it for me. <laughs> this cauliflower bread it is vegan and then a vegan sweet potato mash a little bit of mixed fruit this is a carrot hot dog it's just like a grilled carrot which we actually have chicken out there on the grill and then some lettuce and homemade hummus and I got my chicken so there's my chicken and then there's the rest of my food
Okay, so we just stopped at like a, I don't know, like restaurant slash gas station and we got black coffee because of course we have our coconut milk and then also we have some stevia and then we have four avocados, but then we just ordered like the typical breakfast. Just on our second plane about to go home and it started raining so now we're back off the plane no. and we might be sleeping in the airport in texas tonight so ready to be home so now we're chilling in the airport Sitting here, so tired. It's almost midnight, and we were supposed to leave here at eight. We get to New Orleans at nine, and it's almost midnight. But we're just sitting here by this wall, charging our phones. I'm tired. Hot as a mama. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. So it is the next day. It is Monday morning at like 10:30. <sighs> I'm so glad to be home. Like. I'm so glad to be home. We made it in last night around 3 a.m. We were supposed to get home at like 10.30 or 11. We made it home at 3 a.m. And then my dad had to get up at 4 and go to work. So I feel pretty bad for him for that. For breakfast this morning, I'm just drinking like a bulletproof coffee with ghee, coconut oil, and a little bit of coconut fat. So I am about to detox for the next three days because as you've seen in my previous vlogs, the food in Honduras was not healthy. I see you. Oh, so full of vegetable oil and the bad fat and preservatives. So I'm really excited to detox my body. And Alan's here right now. He's asleep in the other room and he's going to get up and go home. But I have so much work to do. Like literally I came home to my room and there's just stuff everywhere. One, it's messy because I have to unpack all of my clothes in my bag. But then I have like all of my dorm stuff here that I need to organize. Like all oh, that is from my dorm. I really need to get it together. But anyways, I'm about to go clean and do laundry out the butt because I have a lot of laundry to do. Like mold is still growing in my stuff just from being in Honduras and it being so humid where we were staying. So I have mold in my North Face, in my vans, in my laptop, like in the computer, beneath the computer in the case, like anyways. I have a lot of cleaning to do today so I have to go but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll see you in my next video bye